percent of what science has been saying. Uh, what does that say about evolution, the Big Bang theory, dark matter, and so on and so on? Mm -hmm. It puts science back on its heels. Wait, right. Mark, I don't know anything about this, and I don't have any stake in the game, but, like, <laughs> if it's a flat Earth, do you worry that you could just, like, walk off the side of it? There's a no, ice no, no, perimeter. No, I got this one, Mark. Flat. There's an ice perimeter. <laughs> what? Well, it makes sense if it's flat. You could think, fall think off the it, earth. I, I know you're. I know you're probably too young. You're like what, 22, maybe? Nice. Yes. So, <laughs> <laughs> Mark, well. thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for talking yep. uh, about this with us. And then I said what had to have been the quickest, most incredible off-the-cuff question in case any of you guys ever face off against a flat earther. I said, Mark, Mark, if your theory is correct, how come not one person in the entire history of our good planet has ever walked off the edge of the earth, Mark? <laughs> And then he said, no, you young, young girl. You young, young, fresh, supple, nubile, young, young, fresh, supple, nubile, young, young girl. There's an ice barrier. I was like, oh, <laughs> ice barrier. That must be what happens to a woman's when they hear you say flat earth. <laughs>